Hey there, Ospreys. Welcome to another edition of Inside Super 9D. This is Global News with Grace. I'm Grace Velez, and here's what's going on around the globe. After days of shaving off the edges of key warming issues, climate negotiators Tuesday zeroed in on the tough job of dealing with the main cause of what's overheating the planet, fossil fuels. As scientists, activists, and United Nations officials repeatedly detailed how the world needs to phase out the use of coal, oil, and natural gas, the United Arab Emirates-hosted conference opened Energy Transition Day with the session headlined by top officials of two oil companies. Hours before a massive explosion destroyed a duplex and shook a Virginia suburb of Washington, D.C., a suspect inside his home fired a flare gun 30 to 40 times into the neighborhood, drawing a large police response, officials said on Tuesday. All officers escaped serious injury, but it was unclear what happened to the suspect who was inside when it was leveled by the explosion Monday night, Arlington County, Virginia police spokesperson Ashley Savage said. Israel's military pushed deeper south Tuesday in Gaza after it called for more evacuations in the southern portion of the enclave in its pursuit to wipe out the territory's Hamas rulers. The health ministry in Hamas-run Gaza said the death toll in the territory since October 7th has surpassed 15,890 with more than 41,000 wounded. Well, that's another edition of Global News with Grace with Inside Super 90. I'm Grace Velez, and I'll see you all next time.